cooking with John. Today we're going to do beef jerky. You can experiment. There's all sorts of different little things you can add to improve or expand on the flavor. I found that salt is the most critical aspect of making beef jerky. If you undersalt it, it's going to go bad. If you oversalt it, it's not going to be very palatable. But the more the salt, the higher this is going to float in the water. The green area is standard salinity for the ocean. What you're going to need, first of all, is meat. I have here 25 pounds of sirloin steak, which is yet to be trimmed. You need purified water. Sea salt. Sugar. Black pepper if you like. I like to use a little liquid smoke. And just a touch of vanilla. Okay, I've salted the water. And the salinity level is at point zero three zero. The next thing is to add flavorants. Now, we've already checked the salinity. And you want to add flavorants after you verify the salinity. And the reason why is because here's sugar. As soon as you add sugar, you can't see it. And But I will tell you, this hydrometer has jumped up substantially. Add a little vanilla. One of the characteristics of a sharp knife is that it, it cuts through paper easily without too much pressure. And it says it's pretty sharp. I've done the first part of the rendering, which is to defat the beef. And this is basically what 25 pounds of defatted beef looks like. Now, real quickly, we're going to touch on how to cut your jerky meat. Now, you, you have to look at your meat, and you look at the striations, and this meat came from a muscle that went this way. So there's really no correct way to cut this meat, okay? So basically, you just cut it in thin strips that will soak up your brine easily and dehydrate quickly. Now, we take another piece of meat here, and you can see the striations run in this direction. So the meat or the muscle basically was attached to two different points uh, along this line. So you don't want to cut along with the striations because that will lead to tough beef jerky. What you want to do is you cut perpendicular to the striations. And Again, you want to cut quarter inch pieces of meat. We have here about 18 pounds of rendered meat. And we're going to pour in the brine, and we're going to let this set for about 12 hours at room temperature. One step of the process I left out is that you need to drain all your jerky of the fluids before you put it. Otherwise your dehydrator will be a terrible mess. There's batch number four. See that it's nice and full. Be batch number six, which is a small batch. And this is one gallon of moderately peppered jerky. And this is just plain. When I say plain, I mean salty. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of smoke. And this will be my final installment on how to make beef jerky. I've made two complete gallons of uh, plain, which is moderately salty, and heavily peppered. This is very tightly packed in there. It actually made about four gallons, but between what I've snacked on and what's packed in here, that's what we ended up with. 